As a disclaimer, my video is purely for entertainment purpose. Today's video will not be PG-13. It will be R-rated. If you're uncomfortable with R-rated videos, please exit stage left. Thank you and enjoy. The doors are closed. The doors are closed. The doors are closed. It's my command. My command. My command. I, I am closing the doors. You are not welcome here anymore. This is it. This is it. All the parasites and virus and bacteria. I have to get rid of you. I have to get rid of you. I have to get rid of you. This is my house. You are no longer welcome in this villa. In this villa. You're no longer welcome in this villa. This is my villa. I built this villa. My husband has no say in this. This is my command. This is my command. This is my villa. You are not welcome here anymore. No more. No more. This is it. I am done. I am done. My husband has no say in this because this is my villa. And I am making the rules and this is my command in this villa. No more say. Hey, kitty, 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 Closed. <laughs> I didn't see him grow seven years. He never did any collabo. No collabo. Kitty, 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 kitty. Shh, 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 shh. Kitty, kitty, shh. Seven years. I didn't see him. I was with him seven years. No collabo with nobody. To grow his channel. Do it on your own. You don't need collabo with him. Do it on your own. He did seven years when I was with him for seven years and see him do no collabo with no one for seven years. Why you think you can do collabo with him to grow your channel? Grow your channel on your own. Look at me. I grow my channel on my own. I made it on my own. On my own. I needed nobody. I made it on my own. You can do it too. You can do this on your own. <laughs> Why? He's not at a million. He's only at 500,000 subscribers. Why not a million? Because of you. That's why he's not at a million. He needs to be at a million because millions means more money for me. And the baby. I have a baby right now. A baby. I'm growing a baby inside of me. I have a kitty. Shh. I'm growing a baby inside of me and my kitty. They need more money. So we need one million subscribers. Why he's not at a million? <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I can't contain myself. Parasites, viruses, and bacteria. I want to get rid of you. Out of my villa. Get out of my villa. You're not welcome in my villa anymore. My doors are closed. I close my doors to my villa. My big fancy villa that I built for seven years. I've been working on my villa. I will close my doors to my villa. Shh. Kitty, 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 kitty. Okay, kitty, kitty. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, okay, okay. Hush. <laughs> Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Pebbles. Thank you for coming back to watch me. No, I am not having a baby. <laughs> Thank you for 
coming back to watch me. It's a pleasure having you here. Consider subscribing to my channel if you like my content, okay? Don't forget to smash that like button for your girl, of course. You know, you love me, so you're gonna smash that like button. I want to make a disclaimer. This video, this video is just for comedy, okay? Don't take it too serious. If you're gonna be sensitive, exit to stage left right now because this will not be for you. <laughs> I am going hard, okay? So if you're gonna be sensitive and gonna come in my comment section with all your stupid messages, get a life and ray, 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 get out right now get out right now okay this is not for you so guys this is just hilarious i can't believe rosia went on a rampage today and someone said um on one of my comments section do you think that rosio is doing this just to gain views and i think so rosio did something similar a few days ago and look at her views how many people viewed her channel when she went on that rampage so many people viewed her channel so i'm thinking rosio is doing all of this right now to you know get views as well yes she absolutely is okay don't think she's just doing this because she's serious about blocking people rose you can't block anyone from the villa as much as she stepped on mawa like he is her rug her carpet trust me i know i am mawa i listen rosio you're a johnny come lately remember i told you he picked you up somewhere on the streets or from the bar or wherever he picked you up from you're a johnny come lately not even one good year yet and we have been with marwa for a very long time we know i am marwa we know that whatever he says goes not what you say darling trust me you will be there you were there on a video making video about these doors are closed they are closed you're not welcome here anymore that's it it that's it it not anymore if you want to be youtube work hard because i didn't see him I didn't see him for seven years doing collabs with other YouTubers for him to reach the 500,000 that he's today. But why he's not on a million already? This must stop. From today, our doors are closed. It's time for a change. I want my house to be a safe place. It's time to clear up this bacteria. It's time to clear up this virus that is spread in this village. It's time. It's time. Everybody can do their own thing here in the village. All the YouTubers out there, in this, especially in this village, because the, the case is here. The case is here. Of course, there are others out there in, out there in the world, spread. Um, I don't even know where, because I don't give a shit about them. I want Mara to be focused on the, our baby that is coming. Not to be focusing on this virus out there. On these parasites. It's time for a detox. It's time for a huge detox. Huge detox. Especially for my husband. And I'm here as my new home. And I'm growing the baby. I'm growing a baby that will grow here. Today, Rocio is announcing that for my wish, my command is that our doors are closed and things must change. Not anymore. Not anymore. It's out of control. It's out of hands. Not anymore. If you want a big YouTuber to help you grow your channel, you will have to pay. If you want to come and stay here, you will have to pay. My conditions. My conditions. Whoever that wants to come against me, here I am. I'm ready. My conditions. And I totally assume this part. 
It's my command that the doors are closed for these benefits things. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Things must change. I want my husband to shine again. <laughs> <laughs> and he was downstairs with another visitor Maro will always have visitor because that's just him he likes to be around people you can't take that away from him if you take that away from Ayamawa you're taking away his manhood believe you me and you're in Africa not Argentina people are going to come into your house they are. That's the countryside. That's what people do. Hey, how you doing? No, no, they're just walking without you in even inviting them. But at least a lot of these people have common courtesy and reach out to you to say that they are coming. When Mara was building his villa from his subscribers' donations, this is what built I am Mara's villa. His subscribers' donations mostly because I don't care what people say. He makes $20,000 a month from YouTube. Bullshit. Bullshit. That's not true. Okay? That is not true. YouTube doesn't, doesn't pay that much unless you are selling something on YouTube. And I don't think his masterclass is doing that well. So no, it's donations. And he promised these people who donated that, hey, this is your villa. <laughs> you can come whenever you want. Don't worry, just donate $10, $5, $20, and you can come whenever you want. Where were you when he was begging people to donate to build this villa? Don't forget that Aaron Dante, go watch Aaron Dante's um, uh, videos where he was so excited about building his room in this villa and his special design and his this and his that. Go watch his videos. Aaron Dante built that one of the most beautiful rooms in that villa and Marwa gave him that room. But I think Mawa does this because he wants people to build his villa. And they were stupid enough to spend their hard-earned money and build this thing. And now you come into the picture to say, They are not welcome here. You're not welcome here. You're not welcome. This is my villa. My villa. You're not welcome in my villa. Uh, Marwa was forcing D, gave D a room in that villa. D, if you're listening to this girl, do not spend your money in that villa. Don't waste your money to build a room in that villa. You will not be welcomed by Rocio. And by the way, did you see the shade D threw at Rocio in David Jr. channel? Go check it out. I will post the message right here where D threw a shade at Rocio, and I knew it was a shade directed to Rocio because David is proposing to Casper the Gasper for the 100 times, and I'm like, how many times are you going to propose to this girl? So he's proposing to her, and of course, uh, D put her congratulations, bro. At least she could cook and clean. <laughs> If that's not a shade to Rocio, I don't know what is, because it is. That is a shade, Rocio. And David Jr. pinned that comment. And if David Jr. pinned that comment, that's a shade. I would love to be the fly on the wall when David Jr. and D starts to gossip about those two. <laughs> I would love to be a fly on the wall just like this. What are they talking about? <laughs> but yeah, D shaded her. Because girl, you can't cook or clean. You do nothing but come to claim. So, you know, she just went on and ramble and ramble and ramble on. But you know what Rosio is upset about? Rosio, you are upset about what Joyce is said. Yes, that is playing in your head. You can't sleep at night. Because you are wondering about what choice is said. Is it true? Is it lie? 
Well, I am going to add some spice to this, okay? <laughs> I'm going to add some spice to this and leave some um, text messages that your man sent to Paulina here. I am going to leave the text messages and you can compare your text messages that you received from him against the text messages that Paulina received from him. Are they similar? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they are, darling. Stand with Paulina. Some of you don't believe her and some of you do, but the fact have to speak for themselves. Paulina is 18. I have a copy of her passport, as you can see on the screen. She's an 18-year-old girl. She just turned 18 last month in March. So when Mara started pursuing her sexually, she was under 18. And Mara is in his 30s and sometimes people say in his 40s. So he's an old man. And this girl just turned 18. Those of you who are looking past that fact and try to accuse this girl and me and everybody for having an agenda, what is wrong with you? Do you think it's okay for an adult, a grown man, to pursue little girls? In some countries, some cultures, that's considered child abuse. And if what Paulina said Mara did to her sexually, that's considered sexual abuse or assault. So you guys, I'm here to give this girl a voice. Some of you accuse me of, you know, I should, I should be ashamed of myself because I'm a black woman and I'm taking a white girl's side. No, I don't care what color you are. If I believe there's at least some truth in what you are saying, I'm going to give you a voice. She's also a woman. I'm a woman. Okay. She's a child compared to Aymara, who's a grown man. Okay? So just because I'm black and she's white, to me that means nothing. She's a human being. I'm not the type to defend nonsense. I don't care if you're my family member or if you are my friend or if you are what. I always stand on the side of truth, on the side of justice, if I believe there's some truth in it. So yes, you can come after me good luck i've never backed down from a good fight and i don't mean to brag but when i stand behind something trust me i see it through all the way i don't quit again i stand with paulina and i encourage other women out there and men who believe in child welfare should also stand with paulina i don't care what paulina's lifestyle is my name is Paulina. I'm from Poland and I'm 18. Paulina is a girl that I Mara and I then picked up from the airport, as you can see in the small video showing on the screen. The day she arrived in Washington, D.C., USA, things started to go south between her, Mara, and Ivan. You came. When did you come? What day was that? Um, it was 1st April. 1st April 2023. Yes. And who invited you to come here? Marwa. Marwa invited you? Yes. Okay, that's interesting. And um, did he pay for your ticket? Yes, he did. How much was the ticket? Um, it was like $1,000. Okay, he sent you the money? Yes. He sent oh, okay, so... What was your reason for coming here? Why did he invite you? Um, what he said was um, making content together because I wanted to open my YouTube channel as well or so get to know each other better because that was our second meet here. Okay, so that was your second meet. When you say here, you mean here in America or your second meet ever? Uh, your second meet ever? Yeah. Okay, so where, where did you guys meet for the first time? Uh, we met at the party in Poland when I was with my friend. He pulled up to us, asked me for a drink, and after like 10 seconds of conversation, he took my hand and touched his penis. 
Oh my gosh. He took your hand and put your hand on his penis. I was 16. Oh my gosh. And this was at a club in Poland. And after 10 minutes of meeting, he took your hand and put it That's on his penis. 10 seconds, even. It wasn't a minute. 10 seconds. Yeah. He did that against your will. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, how old were you when he did that? 16. You were 16, and he was probably in his 40s or sometimes they say 30s they say he's 32 but some people say he's in his 40s so you were under age when he did that to you yeah and then two years later when he came to america he he invited you to come to america to to meet with him to do content yes awesome and then he paid for your ticket and uh and then he brought you because i think him and ivan picked you up from the airport right yes Okay, and from the airport, where did you guys go? Um, we were sitting in the car, and the first thing he mentioned about was uh, massage. I massage, massage you? Yeah. He was like, he wants to make me a massage. Yeah, you didn't expect that. So, so when you came to America, you just came to just do content, like you, you were not Mara's girlfriend, you were not dating. No, we weren't dating. Okay, so, but he, in his mind, he thought you would come to America to be with him as his girlfriend and sleep with you. Yeah. And then, because you didn't want to sleep with him, he got upset. And he didn't want to be with around anybody. He went to his room to be by himself. Yes. Okay, so, and then what happened after you wouldn't sleep with him? What happened? I'm sorry? After, after you refused to sleep with him that night, I mean, when he went upstairs and then you didn't want to go sleep with him, what happened after that? I mean, he was frustrated, but I, I didn't want, I didn't even know what I can ask him for because he kept saying everything is fine. So I just went to sleep in separate room. And in the morning, I went downstairs. He was sitting on his computer. He was doing something with his documents, I think. So I asked him if he's okay, and he starts saying that he has many options, he has many other girls, he doesn't have to be here with me, he doesn't have to be with Ivan, he doesn't have many options. But Oh, moment, wow. Uh, he was so desperate. Yeah, and he, he was aggressive and he was desperate at the same time. Okay, so let me just make sure I understand this. So you guys slept in separate rooms your first night in America? you slept in separate rooms, you and Amara, right? I didn't feel comfortable. Uh, I also felt like something might happen. Oh, like you felt like because he was desperate, he wanted to sleep with him, you thought... It, mm -hmm. I felt like he's so frustrated. And I was actually feeling a bit scared that he might do something because he was he was acting like he's so horny. Right? He asked a couple of times if I can go with him to bed, right? He has the same Ivan, so I was a bit scared, right? Right. So you were scared that he will force himself on you? Yes. Because he was desperate and you said he felt he was very horny and you were scared. So you wanted to sleep alone so that way you feel much safer. Yes. Because he is a lion. That's what he does. <laughs> So all of this is bothering you, Rocio, and this is why you are so angry and suddenly, oh, the villa, the villa is mine. You guys can't come in anymore. The doors are closed. You know what you should have closed? Girlfriend, you should have closed your legs. <laughs> That's what you should have closed, your legs. That is what you should have closed. <laughs> you open them on the first night. This is what you should have closed. And you're talking about people, um, the viruses, and then you're calling people parasites. Come on. Are you kidding me? Why would you describe black people in the village as parasites? Seriously? Rocio, you are the parasite. You had absolutely nothing, girl. You had nothing when you came to the village. Like I tell you, this is what you came with. And this is what you are going to leave with. You're a concubine. He is not your husband. <laughs> 
You are not entitled to anything. And I am going to leave the whole Kenyan law as it relates to wife and husband. And if they separate, who gets what? I'm going to leave it right here. You're going to get what you come with. You're not even married to him. You're a concubine. But in case you pressure him and ask him to marry you and he marries you you're getting nothing because you think you're getting 50 percent the law changed a year ago i'll just leave a clip right here just in case you didn't redo your research i did your research for you to remind you this is what you're going to leave with <laughs> the same bloody thing you came with this is what you're going to leave with Rocio when you're leaving. <laughs> and he's going to call you a parasite when you leave. He's going to ask everyone to unsubscribe from you when you leave. You're going to leave with this and a black baby, of course. <laughs> a black baby to Argentina. Are you going to take your cat? She's not going to take her cat. She's not going to take her cat. <laughs> Guys, forgive me. Because see, I know I shouldn't do reaction after a night out in the city. But here I am. So I'm going to let it go. I will leave the clip here just to explain to you. I did the research for you. I'll explain to you what you're going to get when you leave. If you marry him and you leave. You're gonna get nothing you're not getting the 50 50. you may get a percentage depends on the children that you have so i know that this is security man marries a man for a couple of years and make a few babies with him and the next thing you know is she's filing for a divorce and she's doing this seeking 50 percent of the man's wealth and so a five-man supreme court judges in kenya considered all that's involved in these situations and voted unanimously in favor of amending that law, which President Ruto has signed into law since last year. The new law provides settlement for the lady based on either the financial contribution she's put into their marriage or a certain percentage is allocated to her based on their number of kids, their ages, and also because she provided a conducive home for the husband to live and thrive. I love women, don't get me wrong, and I will never wish bad for them. But the rate of divorce and the reasons behind why the women are quick to file for divorce are getting absurd, ladies and gentlemen. It's clear that in many cases, the women wouldn't have married the guy if not for the man's money. But we cannot reward that with half of the man's hard-earned wealth when the lady decides to walk away. And in line with that, I think what the Nigerian novelist wrote is totally true. And Neke the bird says that since men have learned to shoot without missing, he has learned to fly without perching. End of quote. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for every man to be aware of the times and the trends. Don't be charmed by beauty, for it won't last. Find a woman who isn't carried away by money and easily manipulated by the trends of friends. It's my security because I'm not going to get anything when I leave. So this is my security. I'm going to get a percentage of what he has because I bring nothing into this relationship. Nothing. Nothing but my color of my skin. Skin. that's about it and my strong passport that's about it nothing else and so I'm going to leave with nothing but my Georgie bundle and maybe I'll take the cat just maybe just maybe I'll take the cat I don't know you want to go you want to go to Argentina with me you want to go to Argentina when he puts me out and call me a parasite okay You're the parasite girl you suck on people you've been in mexico looking for someone to leash off and finally you found a black man who was obsessed with uh you know finding someone at this point his clock was ticking your clock was ticking both of you came together and figure 
oh let's just accept each other even though you are not in love with each other so you are the parasite leashing off of people who are subscribed to you you don't have a job you don't have anything to pay for your own self you have no assets no nothing all you have is god help me please don't let me say the word because mm, that may get me in trouble <sighs> okay <sighs> you have nothing that's all i'm going to say nothing Thing. you came to Africa with nothing and you will be leaving with nothing but a black child that is about it I hate to break the news to you but that is how the cookie goes and why you are upset because you're upset because of what Joyce is said <laughs> oh, that's why you're really upset really this is why you are really, really upset. You'll never be able to control that villa. You'll never be able to lock people out the way you want to lock people out. You will never be able to be the ruler or the queen or the whatever you want to call yourself. No, you will never be able to be that person because Ayamawa can't be control. Ayamawa can't be rule. He is who he is. Ayamawa is a lion and he will always be a lion. Okay? The only doors that you should have closed is this one. The one that caused this. This. Wonderful, wonderful thing growing inside of me. That's the door you should have closed. So you trying to close the door to Villa Medellin will never work because no one can tame a lion. No one. He will always be a lion. <laughs> Guys, that is all I have to say. I'm back in character now. Okay? It's me, it's me, it's your girl, it's your girl Pebbles. I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> I want to thank you for watching my channel. Please consider subscribing. Don't take some of the stuff I say serious. Some of you come for me and but uh, you go too hard. And listen, if you are not comfortable watching me, don't care. I don't need you to be texting or writing in my comment section. Oh, I like your um, reactions sometimes, but I think you go too hard and Rocio when I go, I'm a reactor, I react. I do silly things, it's reaction, it's comedy. If you think I'm stupid and I'm this and I'm too grown for this and I'm too grown, exit left. There are people here who love me and they're always going to show me love, okay? So, thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video. I am going to um, go lay down with my kitty cat because this is the only thing that shows me love. I had to find a stray cat. I had to find a stray cat to make up for the love that I'm not getting at home. A stray cat. Look, it's cute, isn't it? It graduated from college. I didn't, but it graduated. I dropped out of music school, but my cat graduated from college. Say hello to my friends. <laughs> Say hello to my friends. <laughs> Thank you for watching and have a good night. Bye. <laughs>